today we're driving in a 2024 Corolla. Pretty smooth, right? Loving it. Yeah. Um, I noticed right here, whoa. Adam, what is that right there? It's flashing, it says rear. We've got three different people with seatbelts flashing. That's our rear seatbelt warning, letting us know that one or three of our mischievous backseat passengers has unbuckled. Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Teague. This is Adam Newton. We're with Fred Anderson Toyota. Adam, the rear seat reminder, why does that go off on our multi-information display? Absolutely, it comes on, it counts the number of door strokes on the back of our car and the number of times a belt has been buckled in the back and just corroborates the two bits of information. It doesn't even have a cushion a sensor in the back to detect if there's weight in it. Oh. It just counts door cycles and buckle events. That is absolutely it. So basically what you're saying is we've got, let's see, one passenger here. This is buckled, this is buckled, and this is buckled. Mm -hmm. If they're all buckled, ain't no problem, right? Absolutely good to go. Okay, but if we have one, two or three unbuckled right. and we get in the car, we start driving. There's no sensor here that says, hey, you weigh too much, cut down on the steak and the energy drinks and exactly. stuff like that. Okay, what it's saying though, is that there's not a seat belt buckled. So one click, two shuts, three shuts, they might be looking for three buckles. Is that what you're saying kind of? It's definitely gonna be on one of the door strokes. It's not necessarily one for one in that oh, okay. ratio, but however many become buckled after the car door has been opened in the back with the key on, it's gonna to expect to see those buckles stay buckled for the whole trip. Okay, that makes total sense then. So if somebody unbuckles then we'll be, like while they're driving, we'll be seeing that come up. Yeah, that's when we get the happy chime and as my daughter calls it, the angry dancing man on the dash. Um, unlike in the front, buckle you know, me, buckle it's a, me, buckle exactly. Me. <laughs> it's assumptive that the driver is always going to be in the car. It's going to no no seat cushion sensors up there. The passenger side does have a pressure cushion in that, so that it can tell if there's a car seat to protect individuals in that seat. Okay. But nothing on the driver side, nothing in the back seat. It's all just assumptive data. You know, I've always wondered this. What if I have like. Um a suitcase or a basket of something or whatever sitting there that might weigh like five or ten pounds is it like sensitive for a certain weight or it just says in the passenger side it is or it calibrated. just says hey there's something there it could be a person buckle right up. absolutely it is calibrated typically what you get if you set a suitcase or a piece of luggage on the passenger seat you get an intermittent light that'll come on and off as the car shifts around but it's calibrated to be about 25 pounds of weight where it completely kills the passenger airbag for safety for an infant in the front seat that makes total sense. And I would assume that uh, Toyota would not want uh, customers being able to unprogram or deprogram the chiming, right? I right, would think they would yeah, that's something that that's frowned upon, absolutely, yeah. The safety system set up this way from the factory and it's, it's for our benefit in the long run. That makes total sense. All right, well, thanks for the uh, the notice. Now we know why the back seat might, because I've done that before where the, the back seat, I'm like, there's only one person sitting there, like, why is exactly. it going off? I'm, so then I'm like, just, just buckle all three, you know? Right, exactly. That makes total sense. Thanks again, Adam. Always and I guess we'll see you next episode, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. And now it's chiming at me. Make it stop. And if you all have any questions about Toyota repair, service, or maintenance, it could be anything. When do I bring my car in for 5,000? What do I do? What's my hybrid maintenance expectation, expectation, that kind of stuff. Just leave it in the comment section and we'll put it in another video. So thanks very much. And we're at Fred Anderson Toyota Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. We'll see you next time. And don't forget to check out our related videos. They might answer your service, repair, and maintenance questions. Thanks for being here and hitting subscribe.